Hey there, gang. Welcome back. Thanks so much for watching the first episode. I loved your comments. In fact, I loved some of them a lot. Because one of you mentioned that in the system menu, if I go to camera and controls, you can change the distance of the camera out of combat and in combat. Right now, I'm out of three. I'll show you what it looked like at one. So you can kind of get the vibe of where we were. You get, like, right up on cloud. Although the difference is negligible, right? But, like, you're closer. Which I feel like for some of you is probably where you want to be. But I maybe we'll see more. Maybe we'll, um... I don't know, get more of uh, the world in our lens view. If we do it this way. So let's go three. We'll test. See what happens. See if you love it. Leave a comment. And uh, let's get back into it. So before we move on, I want to go over here. Eh, I just want to see if there was anything back there that I missed on my psychedelic firewalk. But I guess not. My knees are knocking. I should have taken the side streets. We have to get out of here. There's no way we're getting through that mess. We should just turn back. No, Shinra's on. I don't think I've ever seen a video game character say "nah" before. We could try the alley, but is getting to the station really worth breaking our necks over? Yes, because we won't. This is an alert from Shinra. No, Shinra's on it. An evacuation order has been issued to the occupants of buildings in the vicinity. Get me out of this place! Well, can't go this way. You are advised. I'm getting to that station if it kills me. Why us? What did we do to deserve this? Nothing. The people who did this are take us. Get me out of here. Please leave your residences at once. I repeat. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations. Shinra will save us. I know it. An evacuation order has been issued to the occupants of buildings in the vicinity of the Sector 8 Expressway. You are advised to vacate the area immediately. The explosions at the reactor have caused numerous ongoing fires. Get out of the way, Bucket! Are at risk. It is not safe to remain indoors. Please leave your residences at once. I repeat. This is an alert Man, from the Shinra Emergency what a mess. Operations Center. An evacuation order. Yeah, it seems like it. The occupants of buildings in the vicinity of the Sector 8 Expressway. You are advised to vacate the area immediately. Do what you like. I'm taking the kids to safety. No, we stay together. Yeah, together. Once you're on the street, you'll want to head for the plaza with the fountain. The station's not too far. <laughs> Don't know why you're helping me, but thanks? Maybe because I look like a soldier? The old camera switch, eh? Is that the Loveless Theater? Or? Intruder escape. Oh, can I not go down this way? Nope. All right. The bastards who did this should fry. Uh, yeah. Good on you, old man. But do you see that right there? I want it so badly. Okay, I will be back. Remember that there's materia on the ground. Oh, and there's an Aerith in front of me. Too weak to save anyone. Not even yourself. 
Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. Uh, how much? How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <gasps> What did you do, and why are they trying to take you to Azkaban? Drop your weapon! Are you blind? You know, you're right. Wait! Nice meeting you! What, you're just gonna... Cool. Sword on the ground, right now. You know I can't do that. Yeah, we had to go back this way. <laughs> I'm getting this. Hey, you there! No escape. You're mine. That's that. Not bad. Okay. What is this exactly? You obtained an orb of HP materia. Go on. So I assume that's just going to give me a percentage boost in HP. That's it. No secrets, huh? Okay. Now here's a question. If I go far enough in a, in a certain direction, if I go back there, will those guys respawn? Can I grind in this game? Was never in doubt. Another one. Oh my god. Dodge materia. Okay, hold on. Question. When I pre-ordered this game, I got a bunch of codes. 
And because of the awesome power of Butterfingers, that's right. <laughs> that's right, remember you saw those ads? I'm no dummy, I did that stuff. So do I have the items that I got from all that? Because by God, I hope so. Nope, I don't. Maybe I have to earn them later. I just hope I get them soon and my shameless consumerism pays off. All right, so that looks like where I need to go. So what is this way? All clear. He says hands. like an idiot. Ooh! <laughs> Flame on, doggy! Going in. Burn. Let's do this. Nice. Damn. Nothing to it. Okay. Yeah, but what's this way? Boxes. <gasps> and some loot. Power wrist guards. Well, you know what? It's no Butterfinger's wrist. I have no idea what. When you bought a Butterfinger, guys, I'm just saying, when you bought a Butterfinger, you're like, <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but I don't care. I wanted it. Here's the question. What did I just unlock for myself? Uh, let's go to material and equipment. Uh, select the character. Oh boy. And what did my power? Risk guards capable of drawing out power latent in wearer's body. Oh, it's just strength by 5%. Okay, all right. Nice, good to know. All right, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna check and see. I feel like maybe we're still in a scenario, so it probably won't be there. But you never know. Also, the beat. If Square Enix just wants to make the posters, like Loveless or whatever, and then sell them, so I can decorate an entire room to look like it's Midgar, I wouldn't say no. Okay, so nothing respawns. At least for now. It could in the future. Fingers crossed. How else am I going to power level? Go into a boss fight at the appropriate level. Who do they think I am? Here we go. Oh, my God. So this this scene is straight up from the original. Let's finish this. Not looking good. Okay, let's do this. I said, let's do this. I kept pressing the wrong button. Because I'm an idiot. I have to let go of L2 and not spaz is the issue. Okay, and we'll do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do it again. Nope, see, uh, damn. All good. Okay. Here comes trouble. Get ready. Ow, ow. These guys stink. These guys stink. <laughs> Spells, fire, this guy. Let's just dot. Eh, let's just get out of here. I'm trying to do my uh, special. There we go. There we go. So that did a thing. Alright, and then we'll do this. Alright. Don't let him escape! 
Sorry, I know that wasn't pretty. I was trying a lot of things for that fight, trying to see what worked on those guys and it didn't. Uh, Punisher seems to work well. That's one guy down, there's another guy down, this is another guy down. Get out of the way of that grenade, or just stand there. Right through the city. Don't let him get away. No matter what. Mm, we got more fun. Take him down. All right, let me check around here before I run back. Looks like the station's crawling with public security. Yeah, I believe that, but what about loot? A Moogle medal, hell yes, okay. A KG alleyway. I thought maybe I could go inside. Oh, I see this. Oh, I see this. Oh, this is where it wants me to go. So what is the purpose of going back the other way? Power leveling. Yeah, all right, I want to go back. Why not? Fight the good fight. Oh my god, yes. Well, this well. This is aerial recon. They want us to lock down the station area. Here we go, see ya. So ridiculous. Punisher mode is just over the top. I should switch up to it much more often. I'd be better off trying my luck somewhere else. True, but... Alright, let's verify. No, I guess that was it. This is just like, if you remember, um... In the original game, this scene, you could fight guys, but if you did, they just kept coming and you kept having to run. So... My assumption is they would keep coming, but they did not. Over there! Open fire! Shoot Never mind, kill. they definitely are. That sucks. Oh my god! Close call. Be advised! Target approaching residential area! Seal hall action immediately! Are you excited? Get him! It's all or nothing now. Hold on. An iron bangle? What do I have currently equipped? I don't know why I keep going to inventory. Cloud, bronze, iron's better than bronze, and it has a thing! Oh my goodness. Set materia. Use deadly dodge. Increase the potency and effects of Deadly Dodge. So when I... I mean, let's see what happens. Anything else? Okay, down we go. Under 
underestimate him. Hello, boys. Deadly dodge. Oh, what is deadly dodge? Deadly dodge. Time to burn. See ya. Not bad. Oh, fire takes care of those guys real quick. Oh my god, they have like vibro blades. Did you see that? Is this the weed shop? Yeah, it is. Green point. Dodge. Oh! Well, that did that. So does it allow me to dodge and then go straight up into an attack? Is that what it does? I just don't recall what the world was like before a dodge and attack. The train was below me. That's right. Hello, boys. Actually, I'm going to roll out. I'm going to roll back in. You! Is that how that works? It doesn't look like that's how it's supposed to work, but I can't test it out of combat, so... I'll take that level. Damn! He's here. Uh, let's do this. Ow! Ow! Just burn already. Let me let me do some recon. I still can't get over the fact that people in this city are okay with their plumbing glowing green. It'd be amazing if Cloud jumped on a bike and was like, I'm out! Nothing else there. Now you might be saying, Jesse, is this an excuse you can listen to the music more? Maybe. All right, I think we're good. Those employees set up those chairs and all of it, and Cloud, Cloud doesn't care. <laughs> I am a terrorist. Also, what is that? Deputy Dog. Although he appears to be in the army, so maybe Drill Sergeant Dog. All right, we're good. Get on that bike, Cloud. Taking it with us. Enemy combatants, you have been warned. Surrender yourself to public security immediately. No. You have nowhere to run. There's always someone to run. Oh my god! Uh, what do I do? What do I, what do I do? Let's do this. Still in it. No escape. That's what I get for not targeting. Your mind. 
not having mana. Boy, I'd be lying if I said that fight didn't teach me a few things about following through on selecting targets and <laughs> blocking things. And oh boy. I just want to see what that would do. I mean, I knew it would heal me, but I want to see how much. My God! All right, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, and you. No escape. Oh my God! Did we do? Oh no! Hold on, this guy, dude. Come on! Come on! Damn it. Ow, ow, you suck! Ow, you suck! I'm stunned. I should have just done it real quick when I wanted to. The Huntsman. Oh, that was a boss? Or a mini boss? This is Sector 8, Unit 2. Target is surrounded. Moving to secure. Wait. I know that. This cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. hmm. You think he's a keeper? Public security, the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> They were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. 
A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. We've Spencer got a crowd to hide in. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Marco you know I had to check that one little alcove, right? Is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. Here they say they're doing this for the planet. So people ride the train here, huh? It's crazy because when this was uh, in the original, it just looks like a you know a normal train with normal seats, unless this is. That's. That's what I was thinking, lady with the sash. Look, she's sash lady. That's what she's known for. Man, everyone's on edge. Of course they are. Hey, Cloud. Stop I, um, that right now! Are you about to unburden yourself? Don't. Hey, you don't make it easy. They even have hotels down there. It's so crazy that in uh, in the original, Barrett comes through here and he's like, "Get out!" and everyone leaves. And this one, they just talk over Wedge. <laughs> Hey, nice hey got a sec? Wait, what the? Oh, that's weird. This giant so sword? Yes, very. Lives in sector eight, so... Can I? I do have a sec for you. Have they caught the perpetrators yet? You're uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over sector eight. I'm a soldier. Wow, my hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to, or. Maybe not. You see, my daughter now lives in Sector 8, so... Who are you Who are you talking to? That luggage? Nana's off her meds again. Just leave me alone, all right? The fire was really big. A little help, Cloud? Please? I'm sure I can't Sector stop thinking about it. Too. The bomb I made shouldn't nah, have produced an explosion that happen. big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? <laughs> you mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. <laughs> yep. You should see my friend Squall. He just dot dot dots everything. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. Uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. <laughs> 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 
When did this become a Chappelle show sketch? <laughs> Them fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> I mean, he did clear out one of the train cars. Kinda. Oh, dear. Man, this train is slower than molasses, am I right? You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. That dude can sleep through anything. Get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not. There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the Damn. great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level, atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <sighs> Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Seventh Heaven, a bar located in the Sector 7 slums. Weird old Final Fantasy 7 tidbit. Did you know it doesn't say Seventh Heaven on the bar? It says, like, Texas Roadhouse or something like that. But not Seventh Heaven. Say what you will about the slums, but everyone's hair here looks amazing. Uh, uh, <laughs> Damn, we are good! <laughs> yes! Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People <laughs> are listening. Oh, right! Ah! Uh, hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> See you soon. Uh. At Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Gave me time to explore. He does care. Working. 
Ooh, do you think I can go back in the train? No. Are you sure you have How are people here taking the news? Houses with robot You're legs. Supposedly a ghost, not a monster, that attacked that guy this afternoon. They must have been seeing things. Nope, definitely a house with legs and arms. What we do, we do for Midgar. And you. How about what? I can wait, creepily. <laughs> I'll just like, go on. Train services have concluded for the day. Hey, leftovers are for kids only, dummy. Buy one, get one. Someone's having a bad day. Buy one, get one coffee? That's the best deal I've ever heard of. Pulling some OT when it happened. Want to know what I was thinking the whole time I was evacuating? You got me. I survived this. <laughs> I'm getting my drink on at 7th Heaven. All right, sounds like a plan. I'm free tomorrow, so let's do it. How much is uh, enough fried march? A handful or hear me out? A whole heap? I wish I could Ma's soft but drinks. Sadly, I don't Her drinks are so soft. Felt the ground shake what kind like of that. person bombs a reactor? The kind of person who goes around putting up flyers oh, all over the slums, I expect. That's what I heard on the train, anyway. Avalanche. That sounds familiar. For some reason, I see it spray painted all over Tifa's bar. It's, it's crazy. crazy. had it so good because of the reactors. <sighs> this bombing's changed all that. Yeah, well, shoes on the other foot now. Let's see how they like fighting to survive. They're people too. Huh. It was like a giant candle lighting up the whole sky. All that debris piled up like mountains. Sector you couldn't go nowhere. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? What the? You okay, buddy? Mako junkie, huh? Figures. But should we follow them? I feel like this was the setup for a quest or a mini game involving posters. I just, I guess there's no payoff right now. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. Can you get this? I don't know. Huh, <laughs> you're such a kidder. Ah, what is this? Warning. Like? Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. Um, excuse me. Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? <laughs> no, sir! See, it's one of the posters right there. I wonder, hmm, maybe it will be a quest. Well, 
What the? That's where I work. No freaking way. Put that fire out, idiots. I was there yesterday. If you are unable to reach the building on your own, please contact the nearest Shinra employee for assistance. Mayor Domino, in conjunction with President Shinra, has declared a state What do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop, so I can look after my parents, you know? <laughs> well, a man can always dream, can he? Sorry, I got distracted looking at the world because it's beautiful, but also it doesn't say Texas Roadhouse or whatever, and you know, it actually says Seventh Heaven. The times have changed. Remember the last time I saw a real one? Huh? Play How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Eggs, chips, and pizza? And secret pinball machines that lead to basement dwellings? I was hoping that was going to be like a picture of everyone. I don't know why I hoped that. Who to talk to first? Uh, let's go here. Actually, let's go here. Uh. Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that, we should talk outside. <laughs> That's not how I thought any of that would go at all. Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> okay. Don't talk to your kid. When you want to talk to a little kid, don't go give another professional killer eyes. I didn't mean to. I started there first because I thought it'd be the least important conversation. Tifa's theme on the jukebox. Use the jukebox. Play your favorite tunes. Nice. Tifa's theme obtained. Oh, cool. Speaking of Tifa, hey. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. Exploded, it was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. Crazy. I promise I, I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. 
I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. How'd that go? Not good at all. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. Sorry, I get distracted by rats. <laughs> you saw them though, right? I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. They so, it, burning. it wasn't that bad? Were safe. It was. Oh, right. Yo, they actually made the slums and here huge. We are. Good wow. old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. What? Can I go wander around, or is she gonna tell me no? Ugh, what if I... What if we go here? Wait a minute. That's Tifa's room. Don't be weird. <laughs> I've never felt more appropriately called out. Can I talk to you again? Or all right. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There's one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> It's time for introductions. What the hell is that noise? I think that's supposed to be snoring, but that is the stomach gurgle of a man who ate too much vindaloo. I'm half expecting a purplish pink pervert octopus to be inside that room. Named Ultros, fingers crossed. I assume I can't get in. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. Get off me! 
Make sure he's okay. Yo, Can I ask you to do the same? sure. Is this the dude from the pipe in original Final Fantasy VII? I don't want to spoil anything, but is that the dude supposed to be the guy from the pipe? This door is still the only non-rendered door. <laughs> like, hey, it won't be important. Okay. How is it so bright? When we're under the plates? Fascinating. I guess it's cool that they show you what it's like during the daytime. You didn't really see that in original Final Fantasy VII. Can I go up here still? Yes, I can. Is there loot up here? Yes, there is. Ooh, a tuft of phoenix down. It's probably Tifa's. Whoops. I, I can check this out again. Nope. Tifa. Now, we're definitely exploring. This is the time. Okay. Well, now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Right, right, right. But I think both of you should understand. Uh, she's gonna have to wait. Because there's a lot to explore. <laughs> You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and booze! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and booze! Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and booze! Oh, thank God, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC! What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and booze! It's a production of broadcast. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. You 